uh, hi guys Vitek here and um, this is an update to my previous uh, video uh, the magnetic pulsar um, I finally uh, managed to get the uh, PCB uh, done I was working at the same time trying to get the PCB for a red light um, a therapy device and the magnetic pulsar and uh, working on another uh, couple projects so it took me longer um, that was the a prototype which I show in a previous video uh, was made on a, a Vero board and um, that's the that's the new one uh, this is a PCB uh, for it it uh, it fits the uh, timer built on a triple five uh, and um, a MOSFET driver, two MOSFETs and a bank of uh, capacitors. Uh, in this version right now I have, I am running um, uh, of the small, this is only 40 watt um, a transformer, 24 volts, 24 volts AC Honeywell. Uh, it will be replaced with um, a smaller a toroidal uh, transformer. Uh, in order to fit uh, the enclosure which I already have and um, this uh, this coil it's, it measures 3 uh, millihenries uh, it's uh, AVG uh, number 18 wire um, basically what what the circle circuit looks like um, it's uh, a timer multi vibrator built on a triple uh, triple five. Um, there is a voltage regulator. It's not critical. It can be a, a nine, twelve volt uh, regulator. There is a three k uh, resistor. Uh, before uh, it can be three, it can be three point three. It's not really critical. And um, this one. Uh, that's the the lower option. That's the option with uh, uh, without a voltage doubler. Uh, so there is uh, a bridge rectifier, and uh, there is uh, uh, double uh, secondary uh, transformer, two times 22 to 25 uh, AC. This goes to a, a bridge rectifier and and uh, will charge the capacitor bank and will be discharged with the pulses coming from the multi vibrator through the um, uh, through the MOSFET uh, double MOSFET driver TC4426 um, this version I have right now on the table is the one using uh, voltage multiplier so I'm using single 24 uh, volt AC coming out of the transformer and uh, simple voltage doubler uh, the two diodes are uh, 1N54 uh, they will work as well and there are two um, capacitors um, the values I change right now on the board I have a total capacitance of uh, 6000 microfarads this one is showing 20,000 it can be used with, um, uh, with um, higher impedance coil or a thicker wire because this this coil will get slightly uh, warmer and that's a 3k so pretty much it's the same uh, same idea as the one below uh, the line goes to 3k and then it's um, and the voltage it's lower to power this part of the circuit that's a low low voltage part and uh, this this part uh, once you get 24 uh, AC you get 48 um, from the doubler then uh, because of the uh, rectifier and, and capacitors the the voltage will be around 68 uh, 67.68 um, a volt DC and that will and that will go to the uh, and that's the voltage the capacitor bank will charge and uh, that's the voltage that's the potential which will be seen by the uh, by the coil and uh, the diode here uh, I put 6 amp uh, that's the one I have 1000 this diode basically uh, protects because the uh, transient spike 
will travel in both directions and also can travel back and uh, shorten life of the of the capacitors. They they not meant to deal with uh, with this uh, with this pulse traveling back. <coughs> so the the diode is placed um, uh, too short uh, the transient uh, spike. And the MOSFETs are uh, STP78 and 75. Uh, I've been testing them for a long time, and uh, they they are cold. They they running very very well. And these two resistors um, coming of the uh, uh, MOSFET driver are 100 uh, ohm uh, each. And as you see, I uh, that's a double um, double driver so I can drive both MOSFETs from the one signal I um, uh, put the jumper between uh, pin 4 and 2 and this is coming off the output of the uh, triple 5 and uh, that's the main capacitor I use tantalum 1 microfarad here responsible for a, a, a frequency um, this cup here 10 nanofarads can be of any type um, and these two capacitors are uh, working together with um, with um, uh, voltage regulator, basically preventing any interference um, coming uh, coming here. Um, so that's pretty much um, one thing. Um, this combination here of these resistors, it's um, it's also responsible together with the capacitor. It just um, um, pretty much regulates how fast the capacitor of charge will will charge and discharge. And uh, this is uh, this reads for 5.6 kilo ohm. It uh, I have right now on a board 6.8. It's not very critical. And um, yeah, since we don't want the vibration to be um, uh, to be high, uh, we want to stay in the low range. I decided to put a 470 kilo ohm resistor, so uh, you cannot go very fast uh, even with the pot uh, cranked uh, all the way down. Um, and right now, on a board, instead of uh, one meg pot, I put one meg resistor, and I am getting about 1.5 uh, pulses per second. Um, of course, you can you can put the pot in here and regulate. But mind you, uh, with um, 18 AVG coil like the one I have, within uh, half an hour the coil will get warm. Like my coil, uh, with with uh, 1.5 pulse per second, it will get in about 60 degrees Celsius uh, in about an hour which is still fine, but mind you, if you want to crank the uh, poles, the, have a variable and crank higher, uh, you have to watch the coil um, uh, temperature or use a thicker wire or, or use the bigger coil. Um, I have one uh, I have one right here, which is uh, uh, 10 millihenry, and uh, this coil I can, I can pulse uh, uh, 5 pulses per second with uh, uh, with these two capacitors, that was a total of uh, 80,000 uh, over 80,000 microfarads. Uh, so uh, that's no problem. Um, anyway, I'll uh, I'll give you a quick uh, quick look how this works. Just need to plug it in. I put a small LED here with uh, 10 kilo ohm resistor. Uh, She's blinking. It's just a camera. I might not show. She's just uh, she's showing the poles, which is well. Actually, it's just slightly faster than one pulse per uh, per uh, per second. I'll give you a quick look on a on a board uh, right here. You see the two uh, two diodes for the voltage multiplier. And uh, that's a triple triple five. That's um, a MOSFET driver, a voltage regulator, and here and two MOSFETs are heating on a heatsink. Uh, I just put them on a heatsink, uh, but uh, I've been testing this for a, for an hour, more than an hour, and, and a heatsink is just ambient temperature. It's not warming at all, and uh, the diode uh, protecting the capacitor. The diode is right here. 
is in parallel with uh, with the coil and uh, and that's the capacitor bank of course they can be they can be bigger they are 1000 uh, microfarad 50 volt um, each so we have 3000 microfarad in each branch so we have a 6000 microfarad um, uh, total capacitance um, so that's pretty much that's pretty much it I have a I have a coil sitting here and basically she's detecting the poles from fair distance and uh, I, I tried, I tested uh, with uh, the pieces of washers and stuff like that and uh, I also ran the test to simulate the human tissue and uh, and uh, she's she's quite she's quite powerful and and uh, gives a good um, um, good kick. Anyway, that's that's all um, I wanted to show for now. Um, I'll make another short video once I get this uh, uh, packed in an enclosure, and I'll make a paddle handle for a uh, for that coil. And uh, if anyone is interested, I have a couple. Uh, extra PCBs um, uh, for this uh, for this project thank you for watching